Hi guys, welcome to vlog number three. So today I'm joined with Scarly. He's our, one of our cats. And today we're going to be doing a few things. So first of all, we're going to be adding some sphagnum moss into Leo's substrate. Next, we're going to be giving Leo a bath. And then lastly, I'm going to do a project review on some box turtle pelts I got. So, uh, yeah, let's jump right into it. <laughs> so, like I said, first we're going to be adding in some sphagnum moss. This is what, it's, this is what it is. It's just some Zilla terrarium moss. It's mostly sphagnum moss. And uh, we're going to be adding this bag into Leo's dirt and sand substrate in her tank. Let's get right into it. Okay, so we're going to start putting in the sphagnum moss, but first we have to take everything out. So first, I'm going to take out Leo's food. These are the Zoomed Gourmet pellets that I'll be giving a review to um, in, at the end of the video, so stick around if you want to see that. I don't know if any of you do. This is Leo's cuddle bone. There's Leo. <laughs> so we're going to put this right there. Take out her log. Put it back there. Take out the Leo. Put her in there. Take out the camera. Okay, I'm gonna put this on the chair there. Okay, then for rocks. Oh, look at that. There's a poop. I'll clean that out. Um, so, yeah, I'll, I'll meet you guys when I'm done getting rid of her water and cleaning up her poop. Okay, so I have everything out of Leo's tank, as you can see. And I have opened up the sphagnum moss, so I'm just going to start pouring it in. Okay, so we have it all in here. I'm going to mix it up and I'll see when I'm done doing that. Okay, guys, so it is all done. And here's Leo. And you can tell the humidity is way up. And uh, Leo's um, enthusiasm is way up. She seems really happy, so I hope she likes it. Um, yeah, but I made a place where she can dig over here and some moss. Um... And then I made her moist hide a bit more um, damp and higher humidity. So uh, this is what it looks like. Um, I really like it. Um, but I do have to clean up the floor because I don't know if you can see it. But there's literally dirt everywhere because I had to stir in the moss. So uh, next we're going to be giving Leo a bath. Okay, so I just got done cleaning out the sink. This is where we're going to be giving Leo her bath. So some people say not to give your turtle a bath in the sink, but I think it's okay as long as you wash out the sink before and after your turtle is in it. So uh, the audio might be terrible in here because it's a sh um, it's a bathroom, but let's get started. So first, you want to plug the hole. I do have a toothbrush here, so you can scrub Leo's shell, one that I haven't used. You should not use one that you use because obviously that's not good. You could get salmonella. But I've plugged up the hole and let's put some hot water in here. Leo's over there. Okay, so this is enough for now. I'm just going to make sure that the drain is plugged. Yep, it is. Okay, so I'm going to go over here and get Leo. Okay, and Leo is going into the bath. 
So if you don't have an aquatic turtle, if you have a smaller tortoise, it's very good to give them baths so that they can hydrate. So now, I can get our toothbrush and just scrub you a little bit. Now it may look like she's trying to get out, but she does this every time. Um, and it's some good exercise. Some turtles love baths, some don't. Leo does, obviously doesn't. And also since we raised the humidity, you can see all the dirt that's coming off of her because it was getting stuck to her more. If you're giving your turtle a bath, like I said before, make sure to wash out the sink before and after you give your turtle the bath. So none of the bad things in the sink already hurt your turtle and um, all the things that your turtle leaves behind in the sink don't hurt you. Because I just, because remember, turtles do carry salmonella sometimes. Aquatic turtles are a bit more likely to, but you always have to keep it safe. As you can see, Leo's legs are getting a lot lighter because all the dirt that was on her is getting washed off. So I'm going to stop scrubbing and just let Leo chill for a bit now. Okay, I'm going to release the plug. Okay, Leo, you're all done. And look at her. She is very clean. Look at her. Clean turtle. So I'm going to put her back in her... Oh, her tub's dirty. Um, okay, here, Leo. Oh. Hmm. 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 Okay, I'm going to put down the camera and get Leo all situated, and then we'll do the pellet review. Hi, guys. So, Leo has just got done with her bath, so now we're going to do the pellet review. So, today we're going to be reviewing the Box Turtle Gourmet Food by Zoomed. Now, I really like Zoomed, as you guys know, I have a Zoomed, um, lamp that I use for Leo. I also have a zoom at temperature gun um, and I have uh, some other zoom at products in there. But I don't actually, haven't actually seen Leo eat these yet. Well, I've seen her eat them. I haven't gotten it on camera. So uh, this is what it looks like. I actually really like the mix that's in here. It's freeze-dried strawberries, freeze-dried mealworms, and freeze-dried mushrooms and pellets so it's a really good mix and it has all the vitamins and minerals that you need a prepared diet um for that's why i got it because the box turtle manual probably one of my favorite box turtle care guides recommend they always have a commercial um diet for your turtle because it does give them all the needed minerals and vitamins and all that good stuff so I actually really like this. Uh, the first time I gave Leo one of the actual pellets, she ate it out of my hand. So that's really cool. I didn't really have to do that much to get her to eat it, and I think she likes it. So overall, I'd probably give these a 4.5 out of 5 because I haven't actually used them long enough yet to give them like my final rating. So maybe in a future video, I'll tell you guys my future rating on these pellets but so far I really like them now next uh, I have another deal for you <laughs> so this time if you get four likes and ten views before Thursday I'll make a feeding Friday video where I feed Leo a new food every Friday well not every Friday when I tell you so uh, um, 
if you guys do that, I'll do a feeding Friday on this Friday. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, and I'll see you either on Friday or on Tuesday. Bye.